If you want to see what she looks like nice and clean and you want some really good tips on how to clean your car, stay tuned. I've got it for you. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angie and I'm glad you're here. Today, we're cleaning the car. I would like to tell you it's not all that bad, but it's horrible. I'm taking my glasses off because there's a big glare, but we've had several car trips in it and we've been pretty sick over the winter. We've had a couple of pretty serious illnesses. We've had some issues with my mom's health and we've hauled kids and grandkids all over Tarnation and the car the winter has been brutal like we've had a really brutal winter winter here in Iowa and we've had a pretty rainy spring so she's dirty she's gonna stay dirty on the outside it rained and hailed last night um, I did not get to the car wash today but I do want to get the inside cleaned out so that's what we're gonna do today this is a tour of what the car looks like before we started everything's covered in dust and dirt and grime my car's been outside all winter, so it's particularly dirty. We don't have a lot of full-grown trees around us, so everything stays very, very dusty. There's no leaves to capture the, the dust out of the wind as it's blowing, so everything just gets incredibly dusty. And of course, as you can see, there's trash and papers, and there's just everything everywhere. So everything needs to be cleaned up and tidied and organized, and then... Um, obviously deeply scrubbed down. It's just a mess. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Tip number one is to get rid of all of the trash and remove everything that doesn't belong in the car to begin with. I carry a bag with me and throw the trash away as I go rather than getting in and out of the car to throw it into the trash container. I just have a bag and I'll take that bag through each compartment, get everything out that doesn't belong there, and I'll throw that bag away when I'm completely done. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car, looking for some kind of open bar. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm. Having a good time and doing no harm. We have been searching all over the house for these. I don't even know. Don't ask. That center compartment becomes a trash dump for electronics that don't work or anything that's in the car that we don't know what to do with, especially on long trips. So that thing fills up with crap so quickly, I almost wish it didn't open at all. Tip number two, if you haven't cleaned your car in a long time, take a clean Swiffer and wipe down every hard surface in your car. It'll collect all the loose dust and debris and dirt that's in your car before you apply any liquid cleaner. If you haven't cleaned your car in a long time or you live in a dusty environment like we do and you apply a liquid straight to this, you're just going to create mud and that makes it even harder to get everything cleaned up. So go through your entire vehicle, wipe down every hard surface with a Swiffer, and your car will be much cleaner, and it'll be a lot easier to get that liquid conditioner applied as well. Yeah. 
what I'm using to clean the inside of the car is West Coast Customs Interior Detailer. It smells great. It's not greasy. It conditions the leather and the vinyl on top of the dash and it keeps everything clean, shiny, um, and it doesn't take forever to dry. If you have leather seats like I do and you've ever used a leather conditioner, sometimes they take days to actually dry. This dries very, very quickly. And I'm just using an old dish rag. And I should have done this ages ago because it's just soaking it straight in. I found this gosh, I don't even know when, a long time ago when we bought a car that was um, previously owned by a smoker. And it smelled so bad and the whole steering wheel was so sticky. And I bought this and I just got it at Walmart. It's not expensive. It's like, I think this can was like five bucks. And it cleaned all that gunk off. And the car never smelled like smoke after that. And I just loved the way it looked. I love how well it conditions. And I love how good it smells. I mean, look at that. It's dry. There's nothing greasy. There's nothing coming off on my hands. You can see it's not like streaking or anything. So... It's very quick, but a very good quality product, in my personal opinion. This is not a sponsored video, but if they would like to sponsor me, I'd be very happy for that. Because I really do like their product quite a bit. Tip number three. You don't see me do it here. I did lose some footage when my battery died. But when you are cleaning your vehicle, get your keys and turn your car on and move your gear shift into each individual position make sure your foot's on the brake and you're being safe but move it into each individual condition position so you can clean all of that surface around your gear shift Honey. Okay, you guys, so I lost some video. My phone died, but look how much cleaner that is. Tidy, 
no crumbs, no stains. The leather's all conditioned. I know it's dark in here, we're in my garage, but you can definitely see a huge difference. Even the doors look great. It's mostly just getting the junk out, you know, and getting it cleaned and vacuumed. I love a freshly vacuumed car. Don't you guys love that? All the scuff marks off the back. Look at how well everything came clean. The way back doesn't come as clean because it's where the dog goes when we take her places. So it doesn't come nearly as clean. But the carpet on the back of the seats is cleaner, although there's still quite a bit of dog hair. Um, my battery ran out on the vacuum, so this didn't get really cleaned. And these are scuff marks from hauling things back and forth. If you guys know of a product that gets those scuff marks or colors those scuff marks, let me know. I know there's like, if you know what I'm talking about, there's like old English, not old English, but there's, yeah, it is old English, isn't it? Look at how good the doors look. There's old English furniture polish that you can get that's like the color of different stains. So you can, it'll hide the scratches on your wood. If there's something like that that'll take the scuff marks out of the leather, let me know. So there you have it, guys. She's all cleaned up and ready for summer, and I'm excited. I need to take her to the car wash and get the outside clean because she's dirty. She's a mess on the outside, but, you know, that's just part of having a white car, too. But she looks a lot better than she did. If you guys liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. We'll talk soon. You guys have a great day.